so I just start filming now because <laughs> I didn't press the button. Anyways, yeah, yeah, I didn't press it, but it's fine. Well, you, you got some. You got yeah. some. Well, do you want to explain something? To, what's name? The, no, about I'm just speakers like, corner. No, I'm just sitting there. Well, so, I mean, speakers corner is a great venue for people just to come and um, for entertainment. Debate or? And yeah, practice the long sort of lost art of conversation, debate, and difference of opinions without going crazy. Um, so it's, it's a really good space for us to have. So you think this is really good space to I have? I do, then? yeah. I mean, I've right. asked questions, spoken to people about Islam, and they're the kinds of questions you don't feel you can ask on the street. You can't just go up to anybody and say, what is this about women covering their um, heads or whatever else? You just can't because you might offend somebody. But Speaker's Corner is great. You can come in, you can ask any questions you like and, um, you know, have a reasonable conversation. So we need it. We need Speaker's Corner. Definitely, definitely. I agree with that. Yeah. Anything else to say? That was her. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right, perfect. Then. Have a good one. Thank you. Continue, yeah? Yes, Pav. <laughs> Can you explain something about the latest situation in the Ukraine-Russia war? The latest situation. Yeah, the Ukrainians are beating up the Russian military. Soon enough, the war should be over. That's how it is. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. They've uh, almost surrounded uh, Kherson, and they have surrounded. At least that's what we hear. They, they've uh, basically surrounded a bunch of troops. Can I ask a question about something that I've read in the news that? Apparently they they were they had like a they they were doing some chemical weapons Who? between the borders between Russia and Ukraine. Who was uh, the CIA? I read the some. Uh, I read like a, a senator in YouTube. He was doing a confession in uh, something. I don't I'm know. sure he was. Is that true or not? What no, do you think? it's not. So so there's nothing to do with chemical weapons. Of course not. It's a conspiracy theory. Conspiracy they were theory. they were spreading news about uh, uh, bio labs in Ukraine in which bio they were lab, breeding yeah. anthrax fueled bats to be released on Russia and to target specifically Russian genes. I mean it's completely insane. Only idiots believe that kind of stuff. They're, but you know the Russian media is desperate. They're trying to sling mud at the wall and uh, in hope that some of it is going to stick. That somebody is going to believe in their bullshit. But, Another thing that a lot, of, a lot of Iraqis are getting happy because they see Ukraine is getting Putin destroyed. Getting a lot of Iraqis, people from Iraq, they, because they can be happy uh, if they want. Ukraine, they 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 want to be idiots. They can be idiots because Ukraine they took part in the American invasion of Iraq. And what was Ukraine doing in the American invasion of Iraq? They were basically invading so they can steal the oil, right? No, the Ukrainians were doing humanitarian help for the people in the captured regions. The Ukrainians were occupying the regions, rebuilding the regions, so if, uh, so and evacuating okay. people who are vulnerable to the war. So how the, come uh, on, the Iraqi me, infrastructure me finish, they don't even have electricity but, and no, they no, have the oil, oil, right? They're supposed to you have. Do you know right? what was the casualty rates of Ukrainians? Yeah. Of the Ukrainian one unit of Ukrainians who was in Iraq. You know the casualty rate through all the time that they spent there. Yeah. You know how many casualties they had. We know that. No, do there you have is any a idea what the casualty. They, rate the American, they didn't really uh, say the right. random number. I don't I'll, have, I'll even I don't have the I'll statics. Tell you, to be I'll tell you how many people were there yeah. from Ukraine. It was yeah. a battalion of five to seven thousand, something like that. And how many casualties do you think this battalion had through their time in Iraq? I don't have the statics again. This is no, no, this is uh, classified information. You, okay, but you we say that they were waging war in Iraq, yeah. correct? That's what you said. What so I said is that Ukraine took part in the war in Iraq and resulted in Iraq. Uh, two million people died, right? Yes. And, but you uh, say that they took part in the war in the invading. How many let me just say something. That a country had? like Ukraine that can build uh, like nuclear plants, right? They were able to uh, provide electricity to Iraq, right? Oh. Are you saying they were on a humanitarian on, mission? Ukraine is building However, what I see it is that they came to just uh, participate with the NATO, America, to steal the oil. Well, what are you saying? Ukraine is building nuclear plants. Where? In, Iraq? in uh, Ukraine, right? They can, they can provide electricity. To Ukrainian well, yeah, people, right? So why didn't they uh, build some electricity for the poor Iraqi people? 
And well, the wait, wait, hold yeah. on, you want one Ukrainian unit of yeah. 5,000 men because you said they, they were on a humanitarian in Iraq. You said, you said, Are you joking? Let me just you said they were on a humanitarian uh, mission, right? Yes, to, to help the people, right? not to kill and zone, to uh, steal, to evacuate people from the danger right? zones, to yeah. rebuild some of the infrastructure, to do that kind of stuff. They're not going to build a nuclear power plant for you, man. Are you kidding me? No, forget about nuclear 5, plants. 5,000 people, they, forget about the nuclear plants. How many plant. casualties do you think they had? What did the Ukrainians do in Iraq? How many casualties did they? have. Look, I ask you first, please answer, how many casualties? Ukraine and Iraq casualties. Yes. I don't know about that. It's classified information. Again, Three I don't know people. about that. Three men were the only casualties that the Ukraine So how many people are precipitated? Now, why do you no. think there were only three men as casualties? Why do I think it's... I don't think it's three because men. Because they I think didn't participate in war. They didn't participate in any of the military movements. Let me just tell you something about the information I know, yeah? So what I know is that the Ukrainians, actually, they, they had an area the size of Three, four million people basically living there. Where in Iraq? Yes, they're doing the invasion, the American invasion of Iraq. And forget about Iraq. Let's talk about no, not forget Ukrainian about Iraq. army. We talking about Iraq. Okay, let's, let's talk, talk about, about Iraq. Iraq. Let's talk about the Ukrainian uh, NATO alliance, right? So when yeah. you, NATO uh, invade Iraq, yeah. Ukraine uh, will come and join them, right, to yeah. kill Iraqi people, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Ukrainians were not part of. A lot of people invasion. now who live in Iraq, yeah. they say, "Oh, we're happy because." Oh, they, 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 they're stupid. They taste the same uh, because medicine. Because they're stupid. Every, every Iraqi person who thinks the Ukrainians they think are responsible you're stupid for the because in Iraq are idiots. The because now, they don't know the Ukrainians huh? were actually helping the people who suffered in Iraq. Now, I, I'm not defending uh, the war. A lot of them, a lot of the Syrian the people, they say that, you, that they didn't help the Ukrainians. They, they just know killed. What happened. Listen, I've read the comments if myself. People are, if people are happy, if Iraqis are happy, I know that not all Iraqis are happy because yeah. of this. Because I spoke with many Iraqis who know what happened in Iraq. Now, the ones who don't know, the ones who are ignorant, the ones who are stupid, the ones who think that Ukrainians help kill people in Iraq, are just a bunch of idiots. They need to inform themselves and they need to figure out that the Ukrainians were not making part of the active invading operations in Iraq. They were only doing strictly uh, evacuation missions and, uh, you know, humanitarian and, uh, help. Border patrol. Absolutely. The, I don't want to be on your time. Absolutely. Uh, border patrol between the uh, Iraqi and Iranian border. Yes, 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 yes. So, and that's why I ask you about the cash. One second, one second, one second. Three men. Can you explain that? Uh, basically, uh, you're, you're, you're talking you about... You don't want to be filmed, right? Yeah, I don't want to be filmed. You're talking about the post-invasion area. Yeah, yeah. Well, s certain units were sent to contribute to do different tasks. Are you talking about the Ukrainian units? Yeah, the yeah. Ukrainian units yeah. were sent to a border patrol, the Iraq-Iran border, because people from Iran were crossing over into Iraq. I mean, so it's basically to cut the supply line to the Iraqi uh, resistance? No. No. Dude, Iran was not supplying Iraqis. Are you kidding me? Iran is at war with Iran. Uh, that was when the Sunni were in power, but now it's a Shia. No, no, what it was, so it's what it was yeah. is, it was a chaos after yeah. the invasion, so people had to patrol the border. I'm not sure, there were some other countries involved as well. I think Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, Georgia, it was like 130 countries, I think. Something ridiculous like that. But, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there were many countries involved. But my point is, not every country that was involved was actively attacking Iraqi people. Was not Another question that I personally want to ask you as a Ukrainian is that, don't you think like Russia, they, they won the Second World War. Uh, they didn't lose it, no, right? They, they survived the Nazi invasion. No, they let, me just, let, me just, let me just explain my point. They survived the Nazi invasion, right? How come that their, their territory got uh, partitioned? Got divided, partition, uh, yeah, and the, the American uh, the American the territory uh, expanded. So don't you think that's not fair for American the uh, Russians, okay, right? First things first. The American territory did not expand. American influence expanded. American okay. borders, the borders of USA, yeah. remained the same pre World War Two and post. No, they lost territory because they lost up to uh, East Germany, right? The the Soviets. They were up to East Germany. They need Germany, to be so. careful with the Americans did not yeah. own Germany. They were occupying part of Germany and then, with their troops. They end up it wasn't, yeah. uh, it, there wasn't a new state in yeah. the USA called East Germany, or West Germany, sorry. There wasn't a new state in the US called West Germany. They were simply occupying it for a time until the Soviets would leave Germany because there was the Cold War. You're aware of the Cold War, yes? Yeah, I'm aware of the Cold War. It's up to now the Cold War. It hasn't finished. It's actually... It's, it's now it's, uh, it's becoming a hot war now, right? Look, the Soviet Union lost the Cold War, and uh, Russia just refused to admit that they lost the Cold War. It's no longer a Cold War. Now we have a hot war. You understand what's happening now? 
Are you aware? Are you awake? That now Russia what is, for you is attacking of a cold NATO state. Do you understand what that means? They are attacking NATO state. It's basically Which a NATO, NATO Russian war. Ukraine. Ukraine is never a, was never a NATO state. No, Ukraine is not a NATO state. I'll explain to you why it's a NATO state. It's Would you listen to me to explain to you? So but it's second. not a NATO state, you're wrong. Why, why is it not? Because it's not part of NATO. On the news, we see that, in the BBC news, we see that uh, the NATO because states, they are sending Ukraine weapons to the NATO. Ukrainians, yes, right? Ukraine they are fighting the Russians. NATO. Ukraine is part of NATO. Ukraine is not part of NATO. You need to look this up. Look on Google right now. Right. Is Ukraine part of NATO? It's going to say no. It will say no, but because it's not. Are you, do you believe that they are not liars? Do you believe they're honest when they say no? Bro, okay, look, one thing Maybe, is for them to say we are right. Of the course, they're not wrong. lying, right? Another thing is for them to say Ukraine yeah. is part of NATO when well, it's not. Ukraine is not part of NATO, never was part of NATO. It might might never be. Of knows? course, they're right because you searched on Google, of course, and whatever you found, which page, also, yeah, it's all right. If you ask a pro Russian, he's also going to tell you that Ukraine is not part of NATO because it's not. It's as simple as that. It's like asking someone, is Ukraine part of the European Union? The Russians and Ukrainians are going to say, no, it's not part of the European Union. Because it's a fact. You need to know this is a fact. You're, you're bringing me information that's simply false. Even pro-Russians will agree with me about this. That this is false information. Which one was right false now. information? Which one are you talking you about? You said Ukraine is part of NATO. Yeah, I believe that Ukraine is part of NATO. And I'm what you believe doesn't matter. Look, I don't it's even believe that. It's, it's, it's a fact. It's a fact. I, I thought, if I ask 10 people here, they will all agree with me. Do you want to they, do that challenge? None of them will agree with you, they unless, unless they're a bunch of uninformed fools. So, Look, seriously, man. Ukraine okay, so you're claiming that Ukraine is not part of NATO? It's not part of NATO, no. So why, why, so if, if NATO supplies weapon to them? Because of the Budapest Memorandum. That doesn't make him part